In today's video, we are going to replace a vehicle starter. This is a process that hasn't changed a lot in decades, really, unless you have some kind of a, a particularly different vehicle. A car starter hasn't changed much. A lot of times, the biggest problem re replacing a starter is getting to the starter to change it. We're going to replace the starter on a van. Sorry, the starter is underneath the engine, so we have to put the van up on ramps in order to replace the starter. Once your starter has completely failed on you, as it has in this vehicle, this is what you're going to get. Absolutely nothing. We tried to boost this vehicle and it made no difference. Same result. All starters are basically the same. You're generally going to have two bolts. One's going to go through here, the other through here. This one, has, this is very common. You have something to line up. There's going to be a hole there on the uh, block for this to line up to. And then you're going to have your two electrical connections. One here, one there, and a ground wire. Replacing a starter, disconnect your battery terminals so you don't short anything out. Here's the existing starter right here. If I move up this way, you can see there's the bolt I was talking about. Right there, it's going to come up through the other side, screw into the starter there. Over here on the other side, we can see our electrical connections. Take this cover off so you can see them a little better. I'll take those off. And up here is our bolt, our second bolt. We're gonna take that, that bolt off of there. At this point, I've got everything loosened off. Here's my bottom bolt. You can see that's out. Over here, got my top cable loose there. That's my ground right there. And over here, that's the top mounting bolt. So everything loosened up. I'll take my pry bar and loosen off that starter. So I removed all the nuts and bolts that we discussed. Here is the old starter. Um, once you go to, uh, you, if you have to reuse your old bolts and nuts as I do, clean them off, wire brush, some kind of uh, cleaner. One thing that is worth mentioning, just going to point this out, is that the top bolt on this vehicle, and this is fairly common, goes in like this and what you're going to have is the nut that goes on that. When you take this nut off, you may think you're, totally, you're loosening up the starter. But in reality, you're not. What happens is, this is the the inner. This is part. This bolt is uh, a part of this whole nut assembly. So when you take this one off, a wire is going to come off here. The purpose of this nut is just to keep the wire in place. So you take this outer nut off, take the wire off, and then you loosen this bolt from this head here. That's part of the whole bolt assembly. 
I have our bottom bolt in place. You can see the head of the bolt there. Here's a starter. That's up there. Up in the top. There's my uh, the bolt right there. The one I was talking about that we have to put the other nut on. So that bolt is tightened up, so the starter itself is all tightened up. Now I'm going to put the electrical cable over that and then the bolt over that to secure the electrical cable and then I'll put our connections on over here. I've made our electrical connections. Here's the cable with the two nuts on either side I was talking about. Over here, got our ground wire connected. Power up there. By the way, when you're tightening these up, be careful that this cable does not come down and get too close to this, to the uh, nut that has the ground wire underneath. Let's keep those separated. Put the plastic cover back over your electrical terminals. At this point, connect your battery terminals back. Now comes the moment of truth. And there you go. I'll back this vehicle off the ramps and uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.